Hey guys, Stephen Rockefeller here for EastIdahoNews.com. Uh, right now we're on the 9,000 block of, this is Outlaw Pass. Um, I believe it's in Madison County, but there's Madison County and Jefferson County uh, law enforcement and fire officials on scene of this structure fire. All we know at this point is it started in the kitchen. And uh, I'm gonna turn the camera around back to the fire until we find out some more information. So right now, Central Fire's on scene, um, Madison Fire's on scene, Madison Sheriff's Office, along with the Central Fire Department. Uh, I, don't, I don't see any ambulances on scene. We don't know if uh, there's no reported injuries or not at this point. Um, again, we haven't had a chance to speak to fire officials yet. Obviously, they're busy trying to control this. Uh, smoke from you can see the smoke for miles uh, in Rigby 13 miles away I could see the smoke and here I'm about 50 yards away and I can I'm sweating from the heat so all, uh, as far as the location guys what I can tell you is that we are on the 9,000 block of Lookout or Outlaw Pass. It's up on one of the buttes. Uh, dozens of firefighters on scene. You've got Madison Fire Department here. There is the Central Fire Department here. Uh, lots of law enforcement on scene. Carl, I know you're busy. Can you tell me, is there any injuries reported to the homeowners? Uh, as far as we know, no. Uh, we heard that everybody was out of the house. Okay. Was... Thanks, man. Okay, so uh, the assistant fire chief, assistant fire chief for Central Fire just let us know that as far as they know at this point, there are no injuries. Everybody was able to get out of the house safely. Um... So you can see here, they are, uh, there's no hydrants up here, so they're bringing in waters, water on these tank trucks. We'll get back to this fire here. They've got attack lines on the garage side of the house. There's crews behind the house with lines, as you can see, um, that they're also fighting this fire. When we first arrived on scene, we were told that there was a large propane tank in this garage and that they were trying to ensure that that had been shut off. Um, neighbors here are, there's, ah, it's so hot guys, I gotta back up, it's so hot. Neighbors here are using hose, they're using their garden hose to spray their lawn. There's a lot of dry grass here. At this point guys, this house is gonna be a complete loss. So we do know that as far as uh, fire officials understand that this fire, that everybody had gotten out safe. And uh, being this close, guys, really doesn't show justice how high the smoke is going. I mean, you can look up probably all the way from Idaho Falls and see the smoke of this fire. So the view, I would, I would refer to this as the east view. I don't want to say, I, I might confuse it. Um, I did get a little turned around coming around the butte to come to this scene. But it is on um, Outlaw Pass. We know that, on the 9,000 block. 
Um, a, a people in the area might be familiar with this home as they have a this large dome on the side. And that's what I know it as. So you guys, for you guys that are just joining us, we're on Outlaw Pass um, on the East Butte. Some are referring to it as the South Butte for this residential structure fire. Uh, we know that uh, the reports the fire officials have gotten is that everybody is out safe. Uh, everyone's been accounted for. We understand that this may have been started as a kitchen fire originally. Central Fire, Madison Fire, Madison County deputies and Jefferson County deputies are all on scene. Dozens of firefighters. Um, on one side of the house, the garage there, they've used what looks like foam. They're also attacking it from the back. And this is, from all appearances on the outside, doesn't look like any firefighters have actually entered the home since I've been here. So this is, um, they're attacking it from the outside. That's, that's what they're doing at this point. And really, there's nothing left of the house to save. They're gonna control this fire, try to tame it, keep it from spreading. All right, lost you guys there for a minute. Um, poor reception up here. Um, So as you guys can see, there's multiple attack teams hitting this house, and from at this point, I can see at least five different locations. Get around here so you guys can see the response from Madison and Jefferson. There looks like a there may be a firefighter at this point that. Um, could have gotten too too hot. They've taken his clothing off and they're getting some water for him, it looks like. Um, he's being aided by another firefighter right now. It looks like he may have been gotten too hot. So, uh, I don't know if you guys saw that, on the east side of the house here, uh, it's falling over. And there's a there is a, a team there.
So, just from my monitor monitoring of what happened, this fire appeared to have spread very quickly. Um, when the call came out, crews were on scene fairly quickly, although it is in a remote area, but they were on scene fairly quickly. East Idaho News got here maybe about 15 minutes after the call went out, and the, the home was, at that point, I would say a complete loss. So I'm just going to walk around the perimeter of this side here. Um, Lots of crews here, guys. So you guys can see this, they set up this tub here. I forget the technical term for it, but basically what they're gonna do is they're gonna fill that up with water and let some of these tender trucks that carry water either go refill or leave. So they'll fill that tub up with water and these pumper trucks will pump the water out of that to ultimately which ends up in the hose of these firefighters. So, you guys heard me talk about the heat earlier. Um, right now, there's there's paramedics here. There was one fire, fire we saw that looked like was being treated for maybe some kind of heat exhaustion. Um, they're switching these firefighters out that are on the front, I guess you would call attack. They're switching them out. And they have plenty of firefighters to do that here. There's dozen of dozens of firefighters here.
All right, guys. It's uh, it's getting harder to see what's going on here as the sun sets. Um, so for those of you that are just tuning in, we are on the South Manan View. I call it the East Manan View, but that doesn't mean I'm right. Um, on the 9,000 block of Outlaw Pass. Uh, this house is a complete loss. Um, it's from the looks of it. We understand that everyone's accounted for, that as far as the fire officials know at this point, everybody's gotten out safe. And we'll, we'll remain on scene here until we can, uh, obviously fire officials are still very busy. We'll remain on scene here for a little bit to, um, until we can get some answers, see if there's a preliminary uh, reason why this may have started. And uh, we'll update this article. It's getting almost really too dark to keep doing this video here. You can't really see a whole lot that's going on. But we'll definitely keep you guys updated. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Make sure to stick with Eastside O News for the latest on this.